Depending on your business, you may have numerous product lines all operating at the same time and it's important to know which of those lines are helping your business grow and which of those lines are holding you back. One very quick assessment tool to help you determine this is the BCG Growth Share or Boston Consulting Group Matrix. The BCG matrix compares a product line's market share, shown along the x-axis, and a product line's market growth, shown along the y-axis. The matrix thus creates four product line categories, stars, question marks, cash cows, and dogs. Stars are those product lines that have a large market share in a rapidly growing market. Think the iPod at the early stages of portable digital music devices. Yes, the company may need to invest a lot of resources to keep up with the demands of this product line, but because it's on top of a market that's getting bigger and bigger, those resources should pay off as sales continue to grow rapidly. Question marks are those product lines that fall into a rapidly growing market but that don't have a huge market share. These product lines could go either way. Because the market in which they compete is growing, if you're able to position the product line and be successful, there is potential for a lot of money to be made. However, since your product line has a small market share, there's also potential to pour a lot of money into keeping up with market growth and ending up losing out anyway. Think of all those other MP3 players from back in the day. The company spent a ton on R&D and marketing because they saw the market's potential, but they ended up losing out to the iPod anyway and having wasted a bunch of money in the process. Cash cows are product lines that are the market share leaders in mature markets that now have low growth rates. Because of the maturity of the market, less money is needed to support these product lines and the money brought in due to the market leadership position can be spent to make other product lines market leaders in still growing markets. The basic idea is that current cash cows fund the growth necessary to create future cash cows. Finally, dogs are product lines that are going nowhere. They hold a small market share in a market that is not growing. They don't consume a ton of cash because the market isn't growing quickly, but they don't bring in a lot of cash either. In general, unless these dogs are somehow supporting other product lines, they should be jettisoned to free up resources for new, potentially more successful product lines. Now, it's important to note that this quick analysis tells you nothing about the profitability of any of these product lines. You could have a star product in a rapidly growing market that you have a large share of, but if that product isn't providing you the margins necessary to actually make any money, then you may want to consider whether it's actually the star of your company that the BCG matrix makes it out to be. Remember, all of the tools and tricks that I give you in the new Venture Mentor series are meant to be pieces of a larger puzzle. So don't ever think that one data point or one method of evaluation is the be all and end all, or you can very easily end up in a sticky situation. The BCG matrix in particular is one tool that is useful as a quick back of the envelope method of analysis, but that should not be the only measure used to evaluate a business decision. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, as well as the latest entrepreneurship news, be sure to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube channel.